in Lisbon. I'm all alone. Nobody else but me. I got ready and everything. I'm about to head out. I am in Lisbon. My first ever solo trip, by the way. It's scary. It's not that I am scared, but you are confronted with your loneliness. It's something. The craziest part is I haven't planned anything. I'm just going to wander around. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, some people, they talked about Rocio. It's a popular area, I think, in Lisbon. So I'm going there right now. I'm not alone, actually. I brought this book. It's so good. It talks about grief. This is gonna be my friend the whole trip. Maybe I will meet some people. Maybe not. In any case, we're gonna have fun. This is what I'm wearing, guys. Nothing interesting here i bought this shirt at bershka i feel cute if you feel cute you can only have a good day right we're gonna head out now to climb. I'm tired. Who sent me? and I don't think I'm going out anymore. It's only five o'clock. The day is not over yet, but I am over. I am over because tell me why the whole city is on hills. I've been walking and walking. It was a beautiful day though. The food I ate, 10 out of 10. Everything was nice. The city is really beautiful, but go. Yeah, I'm on a solo trip. It's cute and all, but I cannot be on a vacation and be more tired than when I'm back home. Like vacations are meant for you to relax and then go back home into the hectic routine so i cannot be on vacation and be walking like dora the explorer i'm not dora mm -mm. i'm sorry if this vlog doesn't have enough footage i just i cannot kill myself how will i explain it to my mom if i die i also i wanted to tell you guys about my flight yesterday they almost cancelled my flight they were like they changed the aircraft so not everybody would be able to get on the plane because the plane is smaller than the one they had initially we were like so we sat on the airport floor for hours waiting for them to tell us if some people are traveling or not thankfully they called my name and they were like okay madam you can go i was walking and then this lady she was like uh, girl. Your bag is too heavy, you need to weigh it. I was like, I put my bag inside the thing, it wasn't entering. They were like, you have to pay 58 euros. I was like, <laughs> do these people know that I used my last life savings to go to Lisbon? I was like, no, this is not me. I went aside, I opened my bag and then I started removing things. I took like four shirts out and I put them in my pocket. Then there is this man, he came to me and he was like, you need to remove everything, you need to remove everything. He was so, so nice to me. He helped me. That was like the kindest thing ever. He was giving me fire energy. I removed everything. So I went back to them and I was like, I want to try again. They were like, okay girl. Hmm. If you're poor, just say that. Anyways, I put my bag in it and I started pushing, pushing. Thank to God, it entered and I was like, hmm. And the guy, he was like, You are so lucky. You get to travel and you don't have to pay the money. And I was like, 
at my face do i look like someone who will pay you 58 euros so after hours of waiting we got on the plane and thanks to god we arrived in lisbon i called an uber but like it was so hard to find the uber but he came i was like i don't know where you are he was like hey i don't like this place madame please call another uber he literally left me it was 2 a.m in the morning guys the struggles of like traveling find your way on a foreign territory right but at the same time i know that i'm really privileged to do stuff like this i don't take it for granted i go through the hard things because i know that at the end of the day this is like a great experience so i feel like we are on this trip together you are my only friend right now Benedict. Benedict. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. This is a word in Spanish. It's 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 a word in Spanish. Ça c'est un petit bonheur. Oh Bonne merci. Vie, amour et toi. Que la réussite dans la vie. Merci. Au revoir. guys i hope you are doing good yesterday i didn't talk to the camera at all so today i just wanted to give you guys an update as you can see i'm still alive thank god i'm talking with my phone because my camera is making weird noises and it's annoying today's my last day i packed everything i'm about to leave i wanted to tell you guys about my day yesterday it was amazing i met so many people i talked to so many people i met this guy he's a senegalese guy he's selling bracelets and he gave me this it's so beautiful also i went to the beach so i talked to a girl on the train and i just realized that when you put your phone aside and you lift your head there is a whole world to see and to explore it's crazy because back home i don't think i would have ever talked to anyone on the public transportation just like that yesterday was amazing i will never forget i wrote everything in my notes about the people i met the conversations we had i put it on instagram actually i just had the heaviest breakfast ever the man in my airbnb he made breakfast and we ate and he made me pack lunch for the day so i'm not gonna eat outside but i'm gonna take the tram because i didn't take the tram during my whole trip which is a shame because lisbon is popular for its trams so i'm going to take the tram and then i'm gonna head to the airport and that's it i'm a little bit upset because of my camera i don't know what's up with that but anyways nothing's gonna ruin my day 